What are you making, my lady? I'm making. I always butcher this, but my mom always corrects me. She's. It's called bunzio. Huh? Let me. <laughs> are you French? <laughs> no. What's up guys, I am at my house and because we're gonna be moving in pretty soon, I wanna start working on the backyard. Um, it's complete dirt, there's some pavers, like this, a courtyard that you can see behind me. It's got pavers on the floor. They're like little stones or bricks, but they're called pavers. And um, we're trying to figure out what to do with that. Are we gonna use it as a lounge area? Maybe what we actually really want is to put a water feature there. Maybe like a water fountain, Something very cool that we can look at. So when we're using our office, we could really see the water fountain. And um, once these temporary stairs are gone, we can also see, you know, a really nice cool decor as we walk by every day from the front house. And then as we go outside to our backyard, I'm trying to figure out what we want to do with the yard as well. So today I'll be meeting with a bunch of landscapers trying to figure out what we want to do. And let me show you guys my ideas. Um, we actually don't even know if we're gonna make this all land or we're gonna make it into a pool. It really just depends on the pricing within our budget. But um, an idea I have without a pool is this area right here. I would love it to be some type of flooring or concrete so the kids can run around and play. And then I want an area where we can lounge at in the back and maybe have some elevation on it. So it just really uh, adds some mood lighting during the elevation. So if there's a step, we want to add some LED lights and that really brings up the mood for the backyard. And then there's also this area uh, when we have, this is our side. There's not much you can do here, but I'm hoping that I have a landscaper that can create a doggy area. So basically this area, this is where Ryu can pee and poo. And I want to create some sort of drainage down there so I can hose all that stuff so it doesn't stink, you know, um, and cause flies. That's the last thing I want. So I might have to create a little hill so it can slope down so all his stuff can go down and then it goes through a drainage pipe. That would be ideal. Um, our backyard is a pretty good size. I'm glad that it's not too huge, so we don't have to put in too much money into the backyard. So looking from this, you know, there's a lot that we can do. It just really depends what we're looking for and what people can design for us. I think it just, uh, it's going to come down to the people's mock-ups and what we really like. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know. There's a lot of, you know, we like large planters. Um, that's something we want to get for our old house. We never did it because they're pretty expensive. But this time we're willing to, um, we're willing to do a little more just to make the house look nicer because it is a nice house, you know? So large planters, large decors, um, nice patio furniture, stuff like that. I don't know if we want like a, um, a fire pit out here. We don't really use that too much, but we'll just have to see. Write down your ideas in the comments below. All right guys, so after seeing the house and seeing the landscapers, it went pretty well. Got me some more later after this, but I just got to the office. Mr. John is here. Mr. Ryan is here. Good morning. All the ones that hustle hard are here. And uh, this is the first time I'm eating this office. So every time you, when you guys get a new job, you know, you work hard and you forget about eating or you're not comfortable eating. Well, I am now comfortable. I am now gonna eat. So I got some chili chilies from a place it looks delicious, a lot of beans. Um, it looks good. So I'm gonna enjoy this and work today, guys. If you haven't seen the new website, uh, antvegashomes.com, you guys can go on there. That is where you can see all the homes in Vegas. You can search around, see what you guys like, what you, if, you wanna, if you're interested in any. And then you can uh, message me through the website. And so 
Um, that would be very helpful for all of you guys. I know some of you guys from Canada are trying to reach out. Um, you guys from California are trying to move over here. So there's a whole lot of inventory now that the prices are dropping. 20K, 40K. So it's pretty good, guys. Right now is a really good time. So check out the website at VegasHomes.com. All right, one thing I'm not used to yet is this crazy weather. It's sunny, it's hot, but it's super windy. And it's starting to sprinkle. Like, kind of used to it, but I, I never know what to expect. And I never know how to dress for the occasion. Like, we're in summer clothes right now. I found these cute little sandals for Leia. For you, we're getting you different ones. And then I saw that they had some that are my size. And I'm like, should I match her? So I decided to put it on. I'm like, I don't know. They're kind of cute. Am I going to be that mom? I don't, I don't know yet. Every time we go shopping, it's always stuff for the kids. Like I never get anything for myself. All right. You don't want me to help you push, right? So you better make sure you don't push the cart into anyone. Where are you going? Can you see where you're going? Can you turn right? Nope. Oh, <laughs> where are you going? You trying to stow all this clothes? <laughs> Come back. We got to go pay for this stuff. Let's go, dude. Okay. This way. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Are you sure? Okay. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you better watch where you're going. Don't stay by mommy. There we go. Where are you pushing it to? Okay, hold on. There's someone walking. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Okay, you ready? Go. There we go. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. I think you I hear Enzo, but where did he go? Huh? Where did he go? Ah! Oh. Hi, Mr. Bruised Eye. Do you like his outfit that he picked today? You he picked it? He wanted to wear that. Yes. Yeah, oh. Is your foot helping open the door? Go ahead. If you want the juice, you got to work for it. Open it. Come on. I cannot. You I cannot. cannot. <laughs> He's so cute. So he wanted two different outfits, and uh -huh. I was telling him to pick one, and he's like, both, both. Okay, here, Enzo, you want to show Daddy what you picked? What did you get? Here, go show him. This is one. You got tank tops? Yeah. No, I got this one. He chose some interesting outfits. You got, what is, this, is this a whale? Or is it a narwhal? A uh, whale. It's a whale? Hey, Enzo. I got I know, this guy. I was like, pick one, and he said no. Hey, Enzo, what sound does a whale make? <laughs> I don't know either. Sorry. How <laughs> about like this? There we go. Okay. What's this one? Oh, more whales. Yeah. Okay. And then. Yeah. I know you're what very specific with the clothes that you dress whale. Enzo in, so. What? It's a narwhal. <laughs> it's a narwhal? Yeah. Yeah, I was saying that I know you're very specific with how you like Enzo to dress. So I'm like, he chose these, okay? I didn't pick any of this stuff. I was like, uh. What are these? Like pajamas? These are pajamas. Because oh, okay. he does need some, but. Yeah, these are cool pajamas. <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny because he picked the tank tops? Yep, he picked it. I wonder why. He never wears tank tops. Yeah, he picked that one today. He wanted it. Interesting. Yeah. Then that means he needs some basketball jerseys. Oh. It's funny because <laughs> any Asian kid that wears tank tops like these, they just look like a fob from Hong Kong. Right? Are you from Hong Kong? All right, so I am at this uh, Brokers Open. Um, this is probably about the third one I've, I'm going to since I've moved to Vegas. We're looking at a two to three million dollar home. And this community is crazy. There's a golf course in here. And uh, which is where I'm going? Nope. Um, and not only that, I had to get access to come inside through the security gates. And then not only once I get through the security gates before the house, there's another security gate where I gotta punch in another code to get into. I have never seen that in my life where there's two security gates where I have to go inside. So uh, this should be a pretty dang good house to show you guys. I'm excited. We're in an area called Spanish Trails. 
these homes are gigantic they are so nice oh my gosh back in la this looks like a seven million dollar home in beverly hills wow this neighborhood watch take a look at this neighborhood guys Oh man, Vegas is hot, dude. I barely got out of the car. I'm sweating. It's crazy. I'm about to meet a lot of people and I'm sweating. But this house is crazy, man. The neighborhood, the curb appeal, you walk up right here. Look at this arch right in the front. And then you got a doorway, these French doors with arches. I love the black. It's an amazing house just from driving up here so far. One thing that I really noticed also is how beautiful the driveway is. So check this out. It's a two car garage. And I really like the black contrasting with the white of the house. And what I think is actually pretty good is the driveway right here. It looks like a normal concrete. Maybe it's got some polish or shine on it or it's a more expensive type of concrete. But to really elevate the look, making those lines and dividing it up into a design, it almost looks like some tiles, things like that. So it's really cool. And I like how they did that. So that's a cheap way we can mimic that for our own houses and not have to buy a $2 million house. You know what I'm saying? All right, guys, we headed inside this very nice $2.2 million home. It's a four bed, six bath. You got All it. All right, this is Alberto. He's the guy that listed the house for sale. Um, you want to introduce yourself to everybody? Yep, I'm Alberto, the mustache realtor with Simply Vegas with the nice. building away of a Reyes group. Nice catch. Mustache, nice stash. Thank you so much. <laughs> but yeah, this is 65 Princeville. There's 5,011 square feet. Um, the beautiful part about this home right here, as you can see, highlighted with these double doors. I love it. Tall, yep. and then come in entrance oh, okay. to the ceilings. grand ceilings of the high ceilings with the handrails that's action with the black that just pops it all. You know, what I really like about this house is that it was built in 1987, Correct. right? But it looks like it was built just a few years ago. Yeah. Do you think they remodeled anything in here or is this how it was when they first bought it? No, we did a uh, complete remodel okay. in here. Not a complete remodel, but yeah. we did a little remodel inside here from okay. the kitchen. We got the coarse countertops, so that's gonna be with the gold accents along with it. Got a couple stainless steel appliances from right. the wine cooler, refrigerator. We did update all the lightings where it's all LED, so it gives you nice. that nice brightness. Along that being said, we got a fully owned paid solar, so it gives you the opportunity to run down your AC Vegas is hot, guys, so you always got to run the AC. Sometimes you got two or three units in the house, so it's definitely worth it with solar. But one thing that I noticed in this house, I don't know if this was done in the beginning, every entryway, uh, every window's got these arches, yes. which is beautiful. So every little detail in this house is amazing. Just even when you go into this little formal living room here, it drops down as a step. Anything with elevation is beautiful. I always like having stuff, like even in the backyard, you know, when things are elevated, it's beautiful. You know what I mean? It, it make, changes everything, the entire look. And um, this is a beautiful home. Thank you so much. Yeah, I really sure. appreciate you, my man. What are you making, my lady? I'm making, I always butcher this, but my mom always corrects me. She's, it's called Bunzio. Huh? Let me... Are you French? <laughs> no. So this is a Vietnamese noodle dish. I made it before, but... What are you eating? We're talking. We're gonna have some bun yu, okay? You want some of that? No. Is it no? You don't want any? Huh? I'm putting some green onions, okay? You see this? Yeah. This away from you. I like it. You like green onions? Yeah. You do? Okay, this is gonna be for the soup. Okay, 
Okay, so normally we use chicken bouillon for the soup, but we can't find like anything it. since we moved, so like now we're it. using like these it. beef bouillon cubes. So I, I hope it still tastes the same. What do you oh want? Oh my Angel? gosh, this guy. You want this? Yeah. Ooh, are you gonna eat the cheese and the cracker? Yeah. Yeah? Open okay. It. Yes, sir. Let's grubs. You chillaxing? Yeah. You chillaxing? Yeah. Yeah? All right, guys, since uh, we moved in, we don't know where a lot of stuff is, and she's got to strain those noodles. So we're using a steamer, uh, I don't know, a steamer, what do you call it? A step? Or it's not a step, a layer? I have no idea. I don't know, but we're going to use this. Okay, so, so how are we doing this? Pour, let go okay. and pour the water out into the strainer. Oh, I was picturing it a totally noodles. different way. Okay. <laughs> nope, it's going to come out. I was thinking of putting it on top of this uh -huh. and then trying to pour it out, if that makes sense. Your hand is going to burn right now. Be careful. It's so Don't burn it. You know what? I think you should be holding this part and then I should be pouring it or vice versa because it's going to start getting heavy. Okay. I believe in you. It's working. I believe in you. You can do it. Also getting heavy though. Mm, pretty facial. Yeah. Steam. Ah! You distracted me. Okay. Why did you have to mix the egg with the meat? I've never seen that. That just um, keeps it together, and then I guess it just helps like to. I don't. I really don't know. I think it just mainly is to keep it together, and probably for the flavor. Because when you put these in, they're supposed to come out in like little balls. Nope. Oh, that's why you wanted to use a small metal spoon. Duh. I said I just pour that in there. Yeah, because usually you scoop it into little balls so that yeah. it just cooks like that. But I don't know. I feel like I'm missing something. Oh my gosh. Okay, what so are you missing? I didn't put in this crap paste. Oh. No wonder, because I was like, it's not sticking together as well. Dang it. Okay, so we got this at the Chinese market. You know, we're still new to the area. But always check your receipts because when I buy this back at home, it's like $5. And then um, when I was looking at the shelf, they had a lot of different other options. But like I specifically chose this one because it was supposed to be $5. And then when I checked the receipt when we got home, we, we got charged $10. That's a lot. And I already threw away the receipt, but you just always have to check because we got charged double the price. How do you feel now that I made one of your favorite noodle dishes? Happy. Yeah? I was sad because I wanted it and two hands and me was at school. You what? You were sad because what? I wanted a hug. I get two hugs and I was sad. Oh, I see. I was sad at mommy. Oh, you are sad because you missed me? Yes. But we're here now and that's why I made your, fin your favorite food. I did love it. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Mommy. How's your food, Enzo? You like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. Everyone has stickers on their heads. Okay, so this is how it turned out. That looks really good. And I'm surprised because I haven't made this in so long. I've completely forgot how to make it. Hey. All right. Hey. <laughs> I'm gonna try. You like it? Okay, I want to try it now to see how I did. Hey. Mmm. Oh, hold, hold on. Oh, Linto. Oh, that's really good. It's very good. I'm surprised because I used the beef bouillon it's instead of chicken fun. bouillon. But yeah. I also added some fish sauce to it, too. And the flavor is actually is very similar. <laughs> Are we doing a mukbang right here, guys? Oh, man. Christina had to go pick up Leia from school. And uh, I went to another spot. This is another broker open. If you guys don't remember what that is, it's when um, someone who listed a house for sale has invited all the agents, anyone who deals with real estate lenders um, to a open house. Uh, a little different from a public open house where they have buyers uh, coming to look. So we get to network, meet a lot of people, 
and um, film a really gorgeous home. So we are looking at a $2.5 million house um, on a golf course, okay? This place is gonna be amazing, I can tell, because the whole block is lined up with cars on both sides and there's no parking at all. It was very hard to find. So I'm excited to see what this house has and um, to also network with people. I met a lot of people last time, so it's always good to come to these things and I'm excited I get to show you guys. All right guys, so I just came into this house. There's a grip of people here. Um, I want to show you guys what it looks like, but it's a little tough with so many people here. So I'll do my best to show you guys. All right guys, so I checked out the house. You can't go upstairs, uh, which is kind of weird to me because I thought we were supposed to see everything within the house. Um, pretty nice place. A lot of people, I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a party. I wasn't expecting that. Uh, so this is a little bit of a different vibe for me. Um, not one that I'm used to, but it definitely feels like a party rather than networking. So I'm a little okay with, you know, I'm okay. All right, so on my way out, I met a few cool people and actually uh, met a fan as well. So shout out to you guys in Vegas who say what's up. Um, but man, a lot of people here felt like they were just here to party, which is really weird for me. Um, <laughs> not much business going on. So I'm going to be very careful with uh, what kind of broker opens I select now because this one was a little interesting. Uh, but I hope you guys got to see a little bit. You know, I tried to shoot what I could for you. And um, I'm going to go back home and eat dinner with the kids and Christina because, man, doing this all day is tiring. How was class, Leah? It was super duper fun. It was super duper fun? Yes. What did you learn super duper from? I fun. I fun. It's my fun at school. Yeah? What do you, what is that? What are you playing with? What is it? It's Gak. It's Gak? What are you showing me? Okay, you can't see it. Oh, it says, it says Leia's Gak. What is Gak? It's slime. Pretty much. It's not slime. It's gak, huh? Yes, it's just gak. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Good job. Enzo, why is it on your foot? You guys, you're so funny. Oh my goodness. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. There was a lot going on. Say thank you. Thank you. Say I love you. I love you. So shy.